The untimely death of Cameron Boyce left many people heartbroken. The up and rising star had a huge impact on people's lives after playing the role of Carlos Deville in Disney's Descendants movies. So, could Carlos Deville be recast for future Descendants movies? Stick to Riveted to get this question answered and so much more. When the news about Cameron Boyce's death hit all social media platforms, Disney Channel announced that the red carpet premiere of Descendants 3 was canceled in his honor. They donated to a charity organization that Boyce was a part of as an addition to this to continue his legacy. His death meant that the role of Carlos Deville would have to be recast if Disney decides to do the fourth chapter of The Descendants, and so many people have been wondering if another actor will take up the role. So, as much as we would wish to answer this, we will have to know the answer to the question, will there be a Descendants 4? Descendants 3 began with Mal, Jay, Evie, and Carlos returning home to take four villain kids to Aradon Prep with them. This was such a big deal to these kids that they named it the VK Day and even made a song for it. We all know how boring life in the Isle of the Lost is, right? So kids must have been waiting dearly and hoping that this day would come. The lucky four, Celia, the daughter of Facilia, Squeaky and Squirmy, the twin offspring of Captain Hook's first mate Smee and Dizzy, the daughter of Cinderella's stepsisters, Drizella, were all very excited about being accepted. It's funny that they looked forward to this day even after they wasted months coming up with such a nice routine for the song. Good to be bad. When we get back to the land of the privilege and magic, Aradon, Ben proposes to Mal, and this gives a reason for people to celebrate except one, or let us say two individuals, that is Princess Audrey and her grandmother. Should I just move on and clear all the memories of him in my life or seek my revenge because I deserve to be with Ben? That was the question that disturbed Princess Audrey so much. However, she decided to go with the second option and descended hell on Aradon. With the crown and scepter at Princess Audrey's disposal, the villain kids had to get back to the Isle of the Lost and get Hades Ember to counter the threat that Audrey presented because it was the only object that was more powerful than the evil Maleficent's magic. Of course, in the Isle of the Lost, the four villain kids meet resistance in the name of Mal's father, Hades. After a series of back-and-forth exchange of bitter words, Mal and her father sorted out their differences and she gets the Ember. Now all is set, and they're ready for the dangerous Princess Audrey. Okay, let us just say things are not always easy. Barely 10 minutes after Mao had the ember, Uma comes into the picture. Now Carlos and his friends have another barrier to bring down before the big battle. After some time, Uma agreed to help the VKs beat Audrey, but on one condition. The barrier had to be brought down for good. In these kinds of situations, one has to cut deals and, of course, keep some secrets. This was shown when Mal opened up and broke the news that the Villain Kids program had been shut. Ouch, that was hard to swallow. Everyone was hurt by Mal's lie, including her most trusted friends. Celia did not take this kindly, too, because she went ahead and almost destroyed the Ember. Like all Disney movies, whenever there's a problem, they bring in a powerful tune and let everyone join in the singing. Anyway, everybody deserves a second chance, right? So Mal was granted one. Mal faced Audrey with the help of Uma and the Ember and managed to defeat her, but there was one problem. Audrey was left in some form of coma because she was left unconscious after the fight. Mal had no power to revive her, and they were left with no other choice other than to seek help from the devil himself. Hades. So good people are also capable of doing bad things. Mao came to realize this from Princess Audrey's axe, and that is how she decided that she had to rule over Isle of the Lost and not Auradon alone. So everything comes to an end in a good way, and they all decide to live happily as one. Mao gets engaged to her sweetheart. Evie and Doug's relationship hit another high as Carlos and Jane become one as Jarlos. Oh, Audrey. The princess could not be left out in this, and she gets all flirty with Harry, who was rejected by Uma. So something must be going on behind the scenes here. In all these, we get to see how the kids to the most dangerous villains in Disney fairy tales did the unthinkable by bringing the two rival worlds together. Who would have dreamt of this anyway? The only factor that remains, or we did not get to witnesses, is Maleficent's reunion with her estranged ex, Hades. Disney's Descendants is the first movie to have two sequels since High School Musical. There's great potential for Descendants to have another sequel, considering there are so many characters from other stories. Well, the others still have a great chance even if they reprise their roles as parents of the next generation. But what about our dear, beloved Carlos? Carlos's character has grown a lot since the first time we met him, from a shy boy who could not raise a voice to defend himself to one who stood up whenever his friends were threatened. After all the struggles and triumphs, Carlos experienced that made him grow to become such a tough person with a personality many people admire. Fans of The Descendants would wish to know how Carlos will take on the new chapter in his life after graduating from Aradon Prep. First off is his friends. We know that Carlos is one that is loyal and trustworthy. He helped his friends bring down the barrier, protected them whenever they were in danger, provided his assistance when it came to tech issues, and also helped in bringing other villain kids to Aradon. Carlos never left his friend's side. Many people would want to know what happens to the villain kids crew when they get to university or get married. So this is one aspect Disney might consider if they want to produce another chapter of The Descendants. Another thing is his parents. Carlos's mother loved her clothes more than her son. 
All she cared about was her looks, and whenever she got the chance, she would make Carlos feel like he is a nobody. She even extended her cruelty to making Carlos fear dogs so that he could always stray with her to use him as a servant. What happened to Carlos' mother when he graduated from Aradon Prep? Did Carlos treat his mom differently compared to what Cruella did to him? Carlos and Jane, or as many would wish to call them, Charlos, probably make the cutest couple in The Descendants. Their love story is one that turned out to be a piece that could come out as a movie. The two, coming from different backgrounds with totally different personalities, managed to find comfort in each other's arms. Now that they are all done with Aradon Prep, their relationship is going to face new challenges that they are not accustomed to. So maybe they'll start getting distant because of issues like insecurity or jealousy, because Carlos is definitely going to attract a lot of attention from the ladies. He is handsome and lovable anyway. Jane, on the other hand, will find men that are interested in her, and she might consider going on dates with her friends, men included. They might also get closer than we have already seen, so we never know what will become of them. All these are just predictions, so there's no harm in thinking the worst in the best possible scenarios. His love for dogs may also lead him to add more of them to what he already has. It's normal for someone to try out some of the things he used to fear after getting over them. For instance, Carlos had a serious phobia when it came to dogs. It took so long that eventually, he managed to beat the fear and he got himself a pet. It will definitely reach a point where his pet will need a partner, so Carlos might have to find himself another dog now that he's become close to the canine since Aradon Prep. With the death of Cameron Boyce and after the successful trilogy of Descendants, the director hinted that Descendants would be closing the curtains. Recasting Carlos DeVille might not be the best option for the Descendants having done three parts of it, and people already identified with him. Cameron Boyce got to the heart of many fans, and so replacing him will not only be a hard task, but it'll take a long time for people to get used to the new guy. One thing is that the entire cast got so used to Cameron Boyce, and therefore if Disney ever produces another Descendants movie, they will be referring to him some of the time, and this might bring back sad memories that can easily be avoided if they just let Descendants rest for good. As a sign of respect to his family, it's better for Disney to leave Descendants as it is, because apart from having a good ending, that was also one of the last movies that Cameron Boyce acted in. It may be used as a way of honoring him and being part of the Disney family for the best part of his teenage years. The fact that he also died before the release of the third chapter of The Descendants means that the directors had no intention, however, of replacing him in any way. They might have had him in mind if they had thought of going for a fourth production of The Descendants. They had learned his character, strengths, and weaknesses. Giving this role to another person would mean that the other guy will have to redo some of the musical rehearsals they have done and then some, if not all, of the choreography. This will prove to be a very hard task for the cast members. So, however much we wish to see another Descendants movie, we don't think there will ever be another production of it solely because of the demise of Cameron Boyce. We are sure the memories of Cameron are still fresh in many of the Descendants fans' minds. Do you have a favorite memory of Carlos DeVille in all of the Descendants movies? Please share them with us in the comments section below. We post new videos daily, so subscribe and give us a thumbs up for this one. This has been Riveted.